In this session, I want us to learn how to use nested if and function and specifically how to create a project Gantt uh, diagram. You've been provided with activities on column A, the project start date on column B, end date and the duration which is basically a difference between the end date minus the start date. I've also included the dates here for this Gantt chart which is an alignment here which is rotated um, uh, text upwards. Now we're going to write an if function that tells Excel to mark here or to return X if this date is between the start date and the end date. So I'll start writing is equals to if then because I have two uh, logical tests I need to include the and function so that I say that if this date and you need to lock the row by pressing F4 twice is greater or equal to the activity start date and I'm going to lock the column there that is column B by pressing F4 three times that's the first um, entry the second logical test is whether this date and I'll still lock the row which is pressing F4 twice is less or equals to the project um, the activity end date and I lock the column C by pressing F4 uh, three times. If those two conditions are met, then I will say return the value X. Otherwise, value if false, return a blank. And I press enter. So like that so it will return x here then i'm going to drag it to the right so between the start date and the end date which is first date of january 2020 to 14th january 2020 you realize that x is only marked up to 14th which is this date now if you drag this down so i need to drag this to the end here then drag this down because I have dates here that goes to February, I'm going to drag this as well or start first by dragging this at least to end of February, which is that point, which is um, February 17, that is sufficient. Then I'm going to reduce the column width so that I have at least um, uh, 15 pixels like that. Then I'm going to drag this down. <coughs> So that I have um, like that, then drag it to the right that way. So I'll have it that way. Then now select all the cells that I want to color or I want to fill. Where we have X, I'm going to fill um, the color with blue and change the font type to blue. So I'm saying conditional formatting, I like cell rules and text that contains X like that i'm going to mark it with a custom format which will be the font type uh, the font color so the font will be blue i'm going to select this blue then i'm going to select the fill as well as blue then okay then i press okay that way i'll have um project guns diagram which has been highlighted based on the start date and the end date thanks for watching my name is david kandia